Hi, my name is Rebecca Reed and I'm with the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History's Outreach Department. Today I'm going to talk to you about Venus flytraps and how those plants are able to move. The scientific name for the Venus flytrap is Dionera mesipola, and the Venus flytrap is actually a carnivorous plant and I'm sure some of you have heard of those before. Um, that means the plant is able to trap and digest small animals and in this case it's all insects. Well, and, well, some people think of them as very exotic plants. They're actually native to a small section of North and South Carolina, and they've adapted to areas with nutritionally deficient soil. And so unlike the soil, like in your backyard, um, the soil where they live doesn't have a lot of nutrients in it. And so these plants have evolved to collect, catch bugs to meet their nutritional needs. And so um, they catch bugs to get nitrogen as opposed to getting the nitrogen out of the soil. Um, their prey includes ants, beetles, spiders, and other crawling arthropods. And unlike what their name suggests, their name would make you think they catch lots of flies, but actually they really don't. They mostly catch crawling insects. And they're part of a very small group of plants that are able to move. Um, and these plants include mimosas, sundews, and bladderworts. And sundews and bladderworts are other kinds of carnivorous plants. So what happens, um, for this plant, how it catches its prey, is it has a trap, um, as you can see in the pictures, and those traps have little trigger hairs inside. And in order for the trap to close, the trigger hairs have to be um, stimulated two times within 20 seconds. And this um, kind of time clock keeps wind and dust and other debris from accidentally causing the traps to close. And it really makes it so it has to be more of an insect situation typically. So what happens is when an insect enters that trap and it triggers one of the hairs, it sends an electrical current, electrical current through the surface of the cells of the plant. And that signals, it's very similar to like an animal nerve cell like we have in our bodies. And this sets a timer. And then if a second hair is triggered within 20 seconds, another electrical current is sent. And this causes cells on the outside of the traps to become more rigid with an increase in turgor pressure. And turgor pressure is the water pressure inside the cell. So in this case, they have more water, increase the water in those cells, and they become more rigid. And then the inside of the trap becomes less rigid and has a lower turgor pressure or less water pressure in the cells. And this change in water pressure is what causes the trap to snap shut. And once the trap is shut, it seals itself and it doesn't allow anything in or out. And over the course of several days, it'll slowly digest its food with the help of digestive enzymes it creates itself. And once it's di digested everything, it reopens and it's ready to catch more prey. Um, I want to thank you for joining me today and learning about plant movement and the Venus flytrap. And if you want more great science content like this, I encourage you to like this video and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, and if you have any other ideas for another video you'd like to see us do at the museum, um, please leave those ideas in the comments below. Thank you and have a great day. We'll see you next time.